right, I hope you're good. So last year I uploaded a video called 80s Chord Voicing Tutorial. And that's had about 50,000 odd views, so thank you very much if you watched that. I've had a number of requests to do another one, so here we go. So I'm going to use a Roland JX3P from 1983 for this one. I've just got a basic string sound. Uh, with the legendary Roland Chorus on it. The only modification I've made is just a delayed LFO, which is just modulating DCO1 if you hold down a note for a longer period. But that's it. So we're in D minor, which is the saddest of all keys, of course. Uh, and we're going to do the same approach as we did last time. So we've got a six voice polysynth, so we're going to do two notes in the left hand, four in the right. So the first chord is D minor, and that's just D, D, F, A, D. Dead simple. Then we move it down a tone. So C, C, E, G, C, so that's just a C chord. And then we go to this chord. And that is a D minor seven add four. So we've got D, D, F, G, A, C. Uh, and then we just rock the bass. So we get this. Nice and easy. So for the next bit, we just do the same thing in the right hand. But we're gonna walk up D, E, F in the left hand. So we get. So that just flips the harmony, so we get D minor, C over E, and then we get an F add 2, like that. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing in the right hand again. We're going to carry on walking up, F, G, A, like that. And then the last time we do change it, we go... So that first chord is B flat major 7. So that's two B flats, F, A, B flat and D. We've got that lovely rub in there as well. And then A minor seven. So that's A and A, and then E, G, A, C. And then we have this chord. So that is a G7 add four, no five, if you want to give it its full title. So it's G, G, F, G, B and C. So you get two little rubs in there. It just sounds great. Uh, and then we do the same thing again. And again. And again. And we do this little run. It's nice to have a little melody to tie things together. And then we move into section B. So the first three chords of the second section go. So we've got this chord first, which is a B flat add two. So we've got B flat, B flat, B flat, C, D, F. And then we go a C chord over B flat, which you could say is C slash B flat, or you could say it's a C seven in third inversion. And then this chord, which is a B flat major nine. So we've got two B flats, then C and a D and an F and an A lovely chord. But this whole thing is giving us that kind of Lydian sound. And it's a very 80s thing to do, so if you flip those chords the other way around, you'd get um, straight line people, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, and then we move on and we do the same thing again in the right hand, which is a repeated theme throughout this piece, and we just change to a G in the bass. That's a little trick you can do, is just have a little repeated thing in your right hand that you like and then move the bass around. So we could do... And then we could do... We could do... Oh, that's nice. You know, you can just play around with that and see what comes out, because you can find some cool little harmonic moments if you do that, and then work out what you did afterwards. So we've done that B flat. Then over G. And then we do this lovely chord, which I showed you last time, which is a uh, D minor 11. So you've got two Ds, then you've got C, E, F, G. And then I fall from the E to the D. Like that. And then we go down to the C. So we get uh, a C, a C, a C, an E, F, G. So that's a C add four, not sus four. You've got the three and the four. And then this little move, which is a F over A. So that kind of very 80s. You know, have a little noodle around with that. And that takes us back. Same 
Same thing again. Same thing again. Same thing again. And then we just add in at the end so it sets us back up for. And that's basically it. So there we go. So I hope that gives you some stuff to noodle around with. So there's some repeated themes from what we did in the first video. So hopefully you're starting to see some patterns and common ideas and get your head around those and get them under your fingers. Uh, but we've also done some new little things like repeating something in the right hand and changing the bass and seeing what that gives you, which I did in both sections actually. So hopefully this gives you some stuff to play around with and hopefully you have some fun with it. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching.